Yeah, I'm Henneke and I'm a business writing coach and I'm on a mission to stamp out gobbledygook. Yeah, so I help um, small business owners and freelancers to become more confident writers and to find their own writing voice so that they can attract the right people to their business. Yeah, so I have a lot of free information and tips on my blog. I have two Kindle books. I have an ebook that I sell on my uh, site. And I have two intensive writing courses where people uh, get feedback on their writing. So everything I offer is about writing. Yeah, it was really curiosity, you know. I never saw myself as a writer and people don't believe this, but it is true. I'm not a writer. I wasn't good at writing in school. I hated writing essays. It was my worst subject. But when a few years ago I started to understand how important content marketing was, I thought, well, can't really not write. <laughs> I have to learn it. So I decided to learn how to write and I found out that it wasn't that magical talent that I thought you required, that even I could learn how to write. And then I just enjoyed it so much and I really wanted to share that with other people because I found that being able to write well is so good for you. I mean, it changes so much. It makes you, it helps you think clearer. It helps you communicate better. Also, when you in other communication, like whether it's a conference talk or a face-to-face -face talk, it, it helps you connect better with people. So I think writing is such a precious skill. I really wanted to share that with more people. Beautiful. And people were just asking me, how do you do it? And so I tried to tell them how I was doing it. Yeah, that's a tricky one because, you know, I, d I don't really see myself as an entrepreneur because, uh, yeah, I still haven't got used to that. What happened to me is um, I just couldn't cope with the corporate world anymore. So uh, setting up my own business was an emergency measure rather than, uh, okay, <laughs> this is my lifelong dream. And what happened is that I basically I had always been a workaholic. I I always felt my I always try to be better work harder yeah this feeling of not being good enough so you often compensate with working harder and even though I wanted to start up my own business and find more balance in my life I had taken that bad work habit with me into my own business. So I was still working like crazy to try and compensate for not being good enough and trying to uh, do more, be more productive. And I was working myself quite well, not to death, but it wasn't going well. And then what happened was quite lucky in a way. I was diagnosed with um, whiplash injury and it was quite bad. I struggled with concentration. I couldn't work very well. and that really changed my life around because at once I saw that my whole um, approach to work was wrong. I had always thought about, okay, this is my to-do list and I try to put more on my to-do list and do more. And now, for the first time in my life, I sat down and said, okay, I have five hours in my day. What can I do in those five hours? And it was a learning curve because I didn't know how long stuff would take me so I had to pair back a few times when I thought oh I can do this 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 and that in five hours well no so <laughs> I have to go back but what I found actually when you work fewer hours but you're concentrated and you're focused and actually it's amazing what you get done I think I probably got done more in 25 hours a week than I used to get done in 50 or 60 hours I'm Henneke and I will survive. <laughs>